This tutorial is for the Subdivide and Smooth tool in Artisan. The workflow in Artisan is a bit different than it was in the plugin Subdivide and Smooth. Um, in Artisan, what you do first is you will select either any number of faces, a group or a component in your model, and then uh, press the Subdivide and Smooth icon here. And what I'll do is first I'll select the entire um, group of connected faces here and subdivide and smooth. And what you can see here now is a new feature and that is a preview of what the model will be will look like before um, the actual geometry is created. And at this point in time you can adjust the number of iterations by punching in a value between 1 and 4 in the box in the lower right hand corner. So if I enter 2, 3 or 4, you can see what happens. Once you're satisfied with the look of your model the number of iterations, just press enter or return, as it says in the status bar here, to actually create the geometry. Remember, at this point, there's no actual geometry created. This is just preview dynamic geometry. Pressing enter, and the geometry is created. A new feature in Artisan is the ability to subdivide just a selection of faces. And without actually subdividing the entire group of connected faces, which is what uh, is how Subdivide and Smooth plugin worked. Here I'll show you, um, if, we select, if we select just the top part of this model, and now then we hit the Subdivide and Smooth button, we get a preview that shows that only the selected portion will be the one that is actually changed by using this method. Hitting enter, geometry is created. And one thing you won't notice unless you um, go to view hidden geometry is you can see that um, the adjacent boundary faces are also subdivided. And that will make things a lot easier for other operations and it'll make sure that uh, your geometry is clean and uh, the vertices and edges won't rip apart when you try and deform them later using any of the sculpt tools or if you try to smooth them later with the, uh, with the smooth tool. Uh, one thing you may have noticed is that um, the boundary edges and vertices of the selection were locked in place. They weren't moved at all um, by the smoothing operation and that's of course so that your geometry stays continuous and you don't create any um, you don't rip anything apart at the seams. One thing to remember when using Subdivide and Smooth tool is that that's very important in order to keep clean or create clean geometry to keep everything in quads and triangles as much as possible. That's not to say that uh, the tool can't handle more complex geometry, but you'll find that you'll get the best results if you keep your proxy or initial geometry um, simple as much as you can and uh, try and keep everything in triangles and quads. Here I'll show you an example of this mesh which will create a chamfered cube once it's uh, subdivided and smooth. Pressing enter and that's the result. Now one thing to remember as well is if you only select one face or one edge and then hit subdivide and smooth it'll actually subdivide and smooth the entire mesh or all connected faces which is kind of how the previous plugin subdivide and smooth worked so it's just a little shortcut to keep in mind so you don't have to select everything with the window select or triple clicking to select an entire set of continuous faces so remember just select one edge or one face Hit subdivide and smooth, and it'll operate on all connected faces. Another example of type of geometry, you can see how I manually um, subdivided this, these faces here to form the quads to, in order to get uh, better, cleaner geometry. cancel, 
you don't have to commit the geometry all the time. You can um, click anywhere in the model and it will uh, cancel the operation or you can hit escape. That's another way to do it. I'll show you what it would look like if I didn't uh, subdivide this using the line tool. It will still work, but you'll notice the um, the result won't be as clean and the geometry won't maybe be quite what you expect. You can see how it just doesn't quite look the same and, and more triangles are created because of the way that uh, SketchUp and, so, and this Subdivide and Smooth tool has to triangulate this face instead of um, making it into nice clean quads. Try and keep everything as much as possible in triangles and quads. Noticed a little bit of an anomaly there. There's a hidden face. I hide that. Oops. Turn off view hidden geometry first. I've got some faces that I don't want in there actually. Okay. Unhide those now. Oh, well, this will look a lot better now. That's the problem. Okay, that's the result that we want. That is one thing to be very careful of when you're using this plugin is watch for those interior faces. They can really make your result not what you expect as we had there. So that's an example for you of what can happen. And again, all I did was I um, I just deleted those interior faces and then performed the operation again. There we go. Okay, another example. Here we have a component. Uh, this box is a component that's been copied several times. Again, no different than before. Just um, select the component and uh, click on the tool. Press enter and it will, of course, all the components will be affected. Now those of you who have used the Subdivide and Smooth plugin will remember that when you have a group of geometries selected and you use the Subdivide and Smooth tool, you will go into proxy mode, as you can see here. Now if we double click to enter group edit mode, now we have a web dialog that pops up. So we have a floating dialog which makes the workflow a lot better than, uh, than the Subdivide and Smooth plugin. And here we can um, adjust the number of iterations making a smoother mesh, um, change auto update with a check checkbox, or force uh, updates by hitting the update subsurface button. And it, obviously if you turn off auto update, the uh, mesh will no longer update as you make changes. But if you wanted to force an update, just hit the update subsurface button. And uh, sometimes the automatic updating just does not work and um, you can uh, again do manual updates just by hitting the update subsurface button. Turn on automatic update and now it should be updating again. Let's see we can um, Do some edits here. What's happening here? Okay, it didn't update there, but now it has. Change the number of iterations. So it's just a way to um, 
get some immediate feedback as you're editing and um, it can be a handy feature. Now if you don't want to use that mode ever just uh, turn off the feature in, um, by going to settings uh, at the bottom here, create proxy from group is is by default set to on, so just turn it off. And in that case, create a group. And now, if we use the tool, it will just uh, act the same as uh, as on a component. Now, if we have a group where, or any geometry that has materials applied to it, we can uh, preserve those materials when we do the subsurface operation. By default, that feature is not enabled. So what you have to do is you go into Global Settings, click on the, uh, or adjust the subsurface materials option, turn it on, hit, hit OK, and you'll get a warning here because the speed of subdivision operations is much, much slower when this feature is turned on. So use it with caution. We've already turned off Create Proxy from Group, so we're not going to get a pro automatic proxy mode when we uh, use the tool on this cube here. So what I'm going to do is use the tool, Three iterations, press enter. Takes a bit longer, but uh, that's the result.